Hello friends, welcome to this part of the video series on chatbot development and to end project. In the previous part, we have replicated a Git repository I already have created. We have started our ng-log and we have checked that our local environment has node and npm installed. Now we are ready to start the development. Here in the code, we have index.js. This is simple express node.js application. It has two route, home route and dialog flow route. This home route is just for checking that our webhook is working correctly. So in order to start the webhook, we will write node and our starting point index.js. You can see our server is running and we can go to our web browser and we will write localhost 5000 to make sure that we see hello world response. Once we see that, we will move forward to dialogflow route. So here inside route folder, we have home route and dialogflow route. Dialogflow route has a router with post request. This is our route for the post request Dialogflow will send. When Dialogflow will send a post request to this webhook, it will have some parameters and we will look into that in the later part of the video series. Here based on the action, either user want to set the difficulty level or user is providing answer, we will move to these two functions. If you go to flowchart, you will see that we have user provides difficulty level and user provides answer. Based on difficulty level, we will set our question and based on answer provided, we will check whether the answer is right or not, whether the question is last or not. And based on these two conditions, we will move forward either to show the result or ask next question. Now. Here, I have a database folder where I have QA.js file. This file contains a dictionary and it has one, two, three, four and five difficulty level. Each difficulty level has some questions. These questions are an object and it has three properties, question, preferred answer and alternate answer. Preferred answer and alternate answer contains, you know, a preferred answer and alternate answer. So uh, let me just make sure I have that triangle. Triangle. Okay, you can see here uh, the preferred answer is triangle, but you can either say three sided shape. Or you can, you know, write some other versions of uh, triangle, maybe a misspelled version of triangle. And it will make sense in a bit when we move forward to this part. But for this part, you need to understand that we have a, we have a JavaScript file where we have difficulty level and each difficulty level has some questions. Now let's move forward to this controller part. So this dialog flow route has two controller user provides difficulty level and user provides answer. Let's look into user provides difficulty level. So if you go to the flow chart, you see that when user provides the difficulty level, we must check that the difficulty level is less than five or five. And if it is, then we will ask question. So here we will check whether the difficulty level provided by the user, which is captured here from the request is greater than five. Then we will say we don't have that level. Otherwise, we will go to uh, QA.js, get all the question for that difficulty level. And here in this part, I will randomly select five question out of those question for that difficulty level. Then we will set our session. And if you remember 
from the dialog flow part of this video series i have shown that we have a session context this session context will live for 20 life cycle or 20 conversation cycle and we will store our question answer in that session and i'll show you in a bit and then based on the the, the question we have selected we will ask our first question in the part user provides answer what we will do we we first get the everything from the session once we get everything from the session we will get the preferred and alternate answer we will check the answer and if the answer is right we will increment in either case we will increment if the answer is right or wrong but if the answer is right we will make sure we ask the next question and also we will look for the fact that we have now at the last question and if we are at the last question we will show the score so this is uh, user provides answer again you know the code is self-explanatory if you look hard you will find everything here so this is it from the webhook part. In the next part of the video series, we will test everything on Dialogflow Simulator. So see you in the next part of the video. If you like my work, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.